Hey everybody, it's Jamie here and welcome to Travel Blog Jamie. So today we are exploring the Sky Gardens in London, London's highest public garden. So let's explore, come with me. Before we explore, please give this a cheeky little like and do subscribe here and over on Twitter and Instagram. Welcome to 20 Fenchurch Street, a commercial skyscraper and affectionately known as the Walkie Talkie. I think that needs no explanation. Designed by Uruguayan architect Rafael Vignoli. Since opening in 2015, this skyscraper has been loved and loathed in equal measure on an aesthetic level, with its expansive sheets of glass and growing larger as the eye travels upwards to its height of 160 metres. The building won the Carbuncle Cup in 2015, awarded by Building Design Magazine to the worst new building in the UK during the previous year. Apart from the design, what makes this skyscraper so unique is its three-storey sky garden spanning the top three floors, which are accessible by two express lifts and include a large viewing area, terrace, bars and two restaurants. It's spread over more than half an acre on floors 35 to 37 with 360 views of London. Oh, this place is so cool. I love it. I can't believe I've never been here all the years I've lived in London as well. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Nice bar here, folks. Over here, you've got your alcoholic beverages and your soda. The other side, you have your coffees and your teas. Very nice. Chin Chin Matthew, happy Sky Gardens. Cheers everyone. All right, we're going to explore those bushes shortly, but for now, a viewing platform. Outside we go, a little bit choppy out there, folks. A little bit choppy up here, but very cool. Oh, it's windy. Just a hunt, but I imagine that's where the restaurants are. We are heading to the Darwin Brasserie shortly. Right, let's have a peek at these gardens. Oh, look, they've got some really cute seating areas actually, right in the middle. That's awesome. Designers chose to plant a variety of draft resistant Mediterranean and South African species. It's a large open space and with access to the outside, it can get cold and act as a bit of a wind tunnel, especially in the winter months. So you might want to wrap up as well. There we go, another seating area. Very cool. I wonder what it's gonna be like when it's dark. Darker. Right, I can see Darwin Brasserie. That's where we're heading. All right, it looks like there's a whole other seating area up here. Don't know if that belongs to a bar. Let's find out. Another bar area over here. Not sure it's open at the moment. Uh, but plenty of seating. You can always bring a drink up from the other bar. The City Garden Bar. Right, let's see what the Darwin Brasserie is all about. I tell you one thing, it ain't cheap. Let's do this, let's do this. Michael thinks we're gonna be given the worst table in the house. No, we're not. There's the banquette one. 
Will you back to the window? No. No. Not a bad table at all. So what would you order? Post your comments below. Oh look, it's like Baby Groot. I am Groot. Bread basket with salted Cornish butter, my love. Chin chin everyone. Chin chin Matthew. So when we booked the Darwin Brasserie, I've got to be honest with you, uh, we looked at the prices, the menu, we thought we are absolutely paying for the views. Uh, we didn't have the highest hopes for the food. Well, proven wrong. That was absolutely delicious. Yes, it's pricey. Yes, you do have awesome views. But honestly, my beetroot starter, oh my goodness. Now I've had one that's similar in a Gordon Ramsay restaurant, this was far better and that pork with the lentils and the crispy kale was absolutely divine um not cheap but oh my goodness i can't recommend that enough we will be back and since eating it has got darker this is what i was hoping for that's why i booked our table for 5 p.m this time of year We've got the best of both worlds this is super atmospheric i love it such a different vibe by night you must come in the daylight and at night time, folks. Promise me you will. At the base of 20 Fenchurch Street, you also have a large Italian restaurant, a gift shop and a coffee shop. The good news is that tickets to the top are free. Yes, you heard that correctly. Bad news is that they are limited and very difficult to come by. So much for a public garden. You are most likely to find availability midweek in the afternoon. Tickets are released every Monday first thing, so keep an eye out. Alternatively, if you reserve a table at one of the bars or indeed restaurants, you'll be allowed entrance to the Sky Garden 45 minutes in advance of your booking. And in theory, once you finish your drinks or meal, you can continue to enjoy the surroundings. If you're looking for food with a view, then you need to head to Darwin Brasserie or Fenchurch Restaurant. Larch restaurant is far more affordable, but of course you don't get those fantastic views from the top of 20 Fenchurch Street. Likewise, great views from two of the bars, the Skypod and City Garden Bar. And those all important details about location and opening times. With Monument Underground Station literally right across the street, this is an excellent location and super accessible. Whether you like the aesthetics of this building or not, you can't deny it is unique. If you're looking to spend a few hours having some great food, drinks and fantastic views, I think this is absolutely the place for you. However, to ensure your ticket to the top, I would recommend booking into one of the restaurants or bars. But I want to hear from you. Have you visited before? And if so, what was your experience like? Get dropping those comments below, folks. As always, don't forget to follow Travel Blog Jamie on Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube.